Okay everybody, this is just a quick tutorial on how it is to set up the hotspot feature on an Evo 4G. Uh, remember, this requires the $29.99 add-on, so if you don't add that to your monthly plan, you'll be unable to use it. All you have to do is click the hotspot icon, turn it on by pressing this button in the top right corner. You see it's processing. And then you look at the router name, and then it's going to tell you a little thing about how to do it real quickly. You look at the router name and you you go to your and you get the password. By the way, change your password because by default it's set to zero one two three etc. It's really easy to guess, and if you've ever used an Evo, you're gonna know how to get on to other people's network. So I just made mine hurry up and buy you know from the classic Menace to Society scene. So now that I've turned it on, all I have to do is go to my computer, and I'm gonna do that now. Okay, and then you go to wherever you go to access the the web. And I look through the list of available networks and I see, oh, Evo Drew. That's my Sprint network. So I click on that and I press connect. And just like that, I'm now connected on the web through my phone. Uh, once again, you need to add on the $29.99 month plan. Now, if you want some additional measures to protect yourself, you can click on Manage Users and select only allowed users that's gonna make it easier for you to control who's able to get on so I can say only four people can get on at a time only a max of eight or only two the more people you let on the slower your speeds are gonna be so don't think you can just power your whole office with this uh, even though you could for a short amount of time I wouldn't recommend it once you do that uh, you're gonna see a list of people who are on and when you click it you can check the status of somebody so you can decide hey I don't want this person going on I'm gonna block him I'm gonna delete him or I'm gonna allow him to to get on that's how it is is a uh, very easy to use like I said uh, in the article this feature is all gonna depend on how strong 4G is in your area and your local market now you can use it on 3G you might get like 1.5 megabits down that's not bad at all if you're in the US comparatively but that's not gonna be something you can use to power four to five people consistently so be sure to consider that before you add the plan on and you just saw how easy it is to to manage this is Andrew from Andronica.com saying come by sometime more videos more reviews and etc